IPO diagram example, online shopping. The following IPO diagram outlines the inputs, processes and outputs involved when using an online shopping system to buy products through the internet. So here's our diagram and we'll try to do this in a sequential manner. So firstly, we're going to have the user entering in their search criteria into the online shopping system. By doing so, the system will run a query based on the user's search criteria and the output of the system then will be the search results based on their search criteria. So I hope you pick up on a theme in my processes column here that the processes themselves will be in pink writing and in blue writing, I'll be writing the inputs and outputs that you can hopefully see in the input and output column. So you can help build upon that relationship. From here then, we're gonna be having the user select a product. And every time they click on a product, the system then will need to retrieve those product details that has stored about the product on its database. And then output it to, from the system back to the user will be the specific product's information through its information page on the online shopping website. The next step may be that the actual user wants to add this product to their cart. So they decide, you know what, I think I'm gonna buy this product. So the process is the adding to the cart of the user and the actual product will then go to the user's shopping cart and the output of the system will be the updated shopping cart where all the products they have selected to purchase will be accumulated as they navigate the online shopping site. We then get to the point where they wanna actually purchase the products. So as this uh, process is going through with the shopping cart, the total amount of the products needs to be calculated before any of that step can happen. So the process of calculation needs to take place on the total price that has been come through from all the accumulated products that are sitting in the shopping cart. And the user should be able to see an output on screen in the shopping cart of the total accumulated price they would need to pay if purchasing those products. The next step then will be the actual purchasing of those products. So the user will need to enter their payment method into the system and most likely with online shopping, it might be a card based method where their details are stored online or they may be linked to an online uh, system that allows them to purchase products such as PayPal. And the system then will need to process the transaction. Now I haven't got an output appearing here because then there's a next step to this one in that a record needs to be generated and this is a formalized process where we need to generate essentially a receipt for the user that may be display on screen or go through the email, but essentially then the system needs to output a transaction receipt for the user's records to prove that they purchased that product. So I hope this diagram has given you an understanding of how online shopping works and specifically the relationships between the inputs, process and outputs that take place. What does the user need to put into this system in order to do online shopping? what processes take place behind the scenes by the system to transform their inputs into their designated needs and essentially what outputs come back to the user to let them know that things are happening, the system is processing information and that in this case the transaction that they're going for has been approved and is going ahead and they'll get their products sent to their homes.